for today's cup of coffee. Yes, I'm I'm hoping I am at the pinnacle and that the healing, true healing point will begin soon. Uh-huh. Which the voice, that's okay. I mean, it just sounds odd. I feel like I'm doing Alex Jones impersonation, except I'm not as loud. And Clay, Clay Kid is doing ASMR with puka shells because he torments me. But anyhow. <laughs> I like the puka shells. But anyhow. I found an interesting something today. I was researching something else and actually found about something that I had no idea existed but it should exist. Yes. So it, it, it should still exist. I have two sources, uh, which will be, the links will be in the description box. One of them uh, is from Ripley's Believe It or Not. But the one I'm actually going to use comes from a website called Classic FM. And it's by Maddie Shaw Roberts. It was originally written on January the 9th, 2020. Updated April the 14th of 2022. And the article is entitled, The Medieval Shame Flute Was Used to Punish Bad Musicians in the Middle Ages. That's just horrible. <laughs> I think that it's amazing. They should bring it back. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. I think that that Shame. should still be a thing. Like, does it hurt them? Or? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. We're going to find out. Because it was so medieval. High. Medieval. Now, when you think of the, the medieval times, what is one of the things that you think of? Torture devices. Torture Most. devices. Yeah. And it was used for publicly shaming bad musicians and other disturbers of the peace. It says that the contraption, which is essentially a heavy iron flute, although you probably wouldn't wouldn't want to play it, was shackled to the musician's neck. And the musician's fingers were then clamped to the keys to give the impression that they were playing the instrument. Clamped. Uh-huh. It says, uh, finally, just to further their humiliation, they were forced to wear the flute while being paraded around town so the public could throw rotten fruits and vegetables at them. Oh, and God, this is horrible. At the time, it was considered a fitting punishment for crimes against music. Mm-hmm. It says, but the shame flute, which is probably, if we're being picky, closer in appearance to today's clarinet, wasn't used to punish just devious musicians. It was used on pretty much any public performer whose work was considered objectionable. It says, played your lute a bit out of tune? Shame flute. (laughs) Dropped a couple of juggling balls while jesting? Shame flute. For any entertainer in the Middle Ages, the flute of shame was the ultimate punishment for not spending enough time in the practice room. And today you can find an original shame flute. I'm not even going to try the German pronunciation. Not today. In the Medieval Crime Museum in Rothenburg, Germany. And there's also one in Amsterdam's Torture Museum. We need to go see that. We really do need to go see those Mm. and they also said you know which musicians today should wear the flute of shame (laughs) and there's there's actually if you go online and look at uh, the worst musicians worst performances different things that's going to vary widely yeah but some of our top ones Mars Argo she actually does have a few good songs so no 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 the girl cannot sing i mean she needs to find a day job spongebobby she has a day job good i hope it's something other than her singing because that that is rough that is just sandpaper on your soul (laughs) the first time you played that i was you have this tendency to go online and find these obscure 
people it's that not intentional. oh god not it is an oh god thing it's not intentional had to reach for my coffee uh another one that i did find from one of the lists because any other time kid and i would be able to rattle off fifteen thousand of these people but Neither. today <laughs> it's today, not working today one of them that truly needed the uh flute of shame yoko ono the only song she had that was good was Walking on Thin Ice. There is nothing good about that woman at all. I'm she th- is a bane to other people's existence, oh, and yeah, she I certainly agree. was to John Lennon. Oh, yeah. We don't know that she didn't pay, dude. We don't know that. You we know, don't know that. Because I, hmm, the fact that she's still around breathing air. That's one of those things that just, yeah. Yeah. And Cardi B. I can't that remember. is definitely flute of shame. D- need we say more? Need we explain her music? <laughs> I don't think that, that's not music. That's not music. And whoever makes those new age videos for sleep that all of them sound exactly the same, flute of shame. Now, the music's good. They just all it's, sound the same. It's flute of shame. It's just the same crap, different thumbnail. So, yeah. And then as far as actors, because it did say performers, any kind of performers, that would be the Amber Heard thing. Amber Turd. That has been... Amber you have, Turd. You have followed that rather diligently, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But you liked Jerry Springer, didn't you? Yeah, I don't watch it. Them, I don't watch it hardly ever anymore. But you anymore. did anymore. Yeah, I did. Used but to you watch did. It. I also watched Doctor Phil. Oh God! You know there was a time. He's another one that needs to have the flute of shame. Yes. Yes. Doctor Oz is another one. Yeah. Yeah. So any of those TV people that are like that. Uh, you said that Tom Cruise really needs to be on there. Yes. So I, He's an I, asshole. All he has going for him is his looks. Yeah. So I don't. I don't know. I, I've seen some movies when he was younger before he lost his mind that were pretty good. But was that's been a, a long actor? time. No. I, if you have to have, I was out. never, you know, into some of the movies that he was in. Seems like back in the day I watched Top Gun. But no, I would, if I wanted to watch action movies, you know, Schwarzenegger and. Um, I think Top Gun was based on a video game. Stallone. I liked, uh, you know, Sylvester Stallone is still great in action movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The last Rambo movie was really good. I don't know how old he is now, but it was still a damn good movie. Yeah. Um, and I can't remember. Uh, Pastor Chatelet had showed one that I had not seen before. I think it was called The Expendables. Really good movie. If you like action movies. Yeah. Uh, I like those, you know, where the bad guys get what they deserve. Yeah. And as far as actors, since we're talking about that, that deserve the flu to shame, most everybody that's in politics. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Damn. Because, let's face it, they're actors, folks, and some of them are worse than others. Oh, yeah. I'm drinking the coffees. Slurp. I need the coffees. Slurp, slurp. So, nobody weren't else you that you can put, think of? Weren't you going to put, like, Hello Kitty or something? Whoever created Hello Kitty, that deserves more than the flute of shame that, that belongs in a level of hell. She just does not like pink. She does not like cute. She does not like Hello I Kitty. Know. I know. Mm. No. If you're a three-year-old baby girl, maybe, but... Uh, mm, mm. There's a goth San Rio character. I, that is an abomination that is not goth. You would actually like her. I am a purist on certain things. Gatekeeper. <sighs> I don't know. Oh, and we hit... Whoever wrote the song MacArthur Park? Is that the one? Flew to shame. Cake out in the rain. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Flute of shame to you. <laughs> Flute of shame. 
she was going to put Lana Del Rey, and I'm like, ah, uh, ah, uh, no, 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 no. She actually can sing a little bit. <laughs> little bit she can actually sing oh my god well there's and she she's got did quite a few songs that are good she did do a good cover of seven <coughs> season of the witch i will give and her that time. so there has been he has tried to beat me for years i've tried to find something because like she is a lot of what i listen to i've tried to find some sort of middle ground where she actually likes it I can deal with one or two at this point, as opposed to what the hell is that? Turn that shit off. Yeah, and, but he will. He will find some of the most obscure things on the internet, and I'm like, where the hell did you find that? Oh, I have another one that I recently found. Oh God! That I got. You should, I'm gonna make you listen to it. This is what he does to me. Yeah. And of course, we have poor little Squidward. And what was the name of that? Bold, Bold and brash. <laughs> belongs in the trash. So. The thing is, Squidward was not actually a bad artist. Uh, no, he was just a narcissist yeah. totally and completely. Yeah. Now he could not play clarinet. For no, sure. no, that was painful. But as far as art, he, yeah, he was, all, he was all right. Yeah. It was just a lot of self-portrait shit. Of course, he's a narcissist. Yeah. Narcissistic. But you know what? There are people I have seen people produce things that are worse than that. Yeah. And that are applauded. And those people deserve flute of shame. Anybody that would put garbage on whatever it was, and it was just like uh, your brother was talking Band about. garbage? The, no, not that. That they would put garbage like, hey, on good. a canvas or whatever your brother was telling about an exhibit where it was seriously garbage and that the janitor had gone and cleaned it up and then they were throwing a fit because he thought that it was someone had just thrown something on the floor those people deserve not the janitor he did exactly what needed to be done there's but the other ones need flew to shame there's this woman that that created paintings by drinking some sort of uh colored whatever the fuck and then puking on the canvas that's somebody that needs severe therapy that is not art that is not art who was the dude that had the camera thing uh was it is his name Shay, Shia LaBeouf Shia La, what is it Shay LaBeouf Shia are you LaBeouf? talking about the the play uh or he was an actor school? he was an actor and he had the camera where people could go up and say anything that they wanted to i think it is shia labeouf or shay whatever he deserves flu to shame shia labeouf yeah that's it shia labeouf whatever shia labeouf i like mine better he deserves flu to shame i just got confused i'm like i know who you're talking about but shia labeouf <laughs> are you serious oh give me a that's break. like someone give saying me a sh- break that's like someone saying Cheryl Canning. It's Carol Channing. Well, you have, yeah, well, some of those people. Flew to Cheryl shame. Canning. <laughs> Flew to shame. Flew to shame. And I'm sure that we're very much interested in uh, you all, what who you think deserves the flu to shame. Mm-hmm. So that, I'd say we'll get quite a few. I'm hoping we'll get quite a few responses on that. Yeah. And like I said, some of the websites that you could go to of their, you know, who they thought were the worst, it was primarily musicians. And even as far as performers, there are people that sound great in the studio, but not so much live. Now, it's one thing to have a bad performance, but when it is a consistent bad performance, maybe you really shouldn't tour. Imagine Dragons. Was that one of the ones that yeah. your brother said were horrible yeah. in concert? Yeah. Who was the other one that they had seen um, that they said was terrible live? I don't know. I think most of the people that I have ever seen, you know, put on some really good performances. Ozzy puts on a hell of a concert. Yeah. Really good. I never saw him live, so. ACDC, that is so high energy. <laughs> that just amazing fun. Um, you know, one of the things we'll be talking about soon, Iron Maiden. Really good concerts. Mm. 
so I don't know. I don't think I've ever been to one that I came out and I was disappointed. But I was also very particular about who I paid money to see. Yeah. So That'd be a horrible thing to pay a large sum of money to go to a concert and be that disappointed. Yeah. Now, there are some movies... I don't know that I've even... If I paid money for it, I will sit there and suffer through it. No. I've paid money for stuff, and I'm like, I can't do this. I never <laughs> touch it again. Which one did you do? Was it Birdman or whatever it was? Birdman. I know that you had... I went to go see that in the theaters, and I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? You thought it was going to be some kind of like superhero type thing, didn't you? Yeah. And then he showed up on the screen for like 15 seconds. And then it was just disappointment after that. That that was after all the disappointment. <laughs> that was at the end of the film. Oh, but crazy. Anyhow, flew to shame. You've learned something new today, and it really does. It's a amazingly sick sense of humor, torture device. Yeah, it's fucked up. They had some fucked up ways. They like, did. They did. And it's like, you wonder who sat around and thought that up. Who thought that that would be a good idea? Well, it who was... Who thought that that would be humane? But then again, <sighs> abuse was rampant. You think it ain't rampant today? It's, no, it's just rampant, that it's not but... physical abuse. It's psychological and mental abuse. Uh, we have the same thing as far as the flute of shame today. It's uh, social media. Well, that's just people being stupid. Well, it's the same thing. Out in like public. Said. Well, same thing. Just a little bit different. Except it doesn't physically harm people most of the time. I don't know that it doesn't because, you know, we know that the when you are wounded psychologically and uh, you know, spiritually, that can that affect the body? Absolutely, it does. There's no separation thereof. Mm-hmm. So, anyhow, this was more of an espresso ish ish My thing. Nose is running. I better go catch it. It's because you did this to me. You did this to me. I didn't do shit. You to had me. me sit here while I was sick. I'm sitting here while I'm sick because it's a matter of perseverance. I did this in radio for years. You were also alone in the studio. I, I was, and it's, thank God that you had a knob that you could just, you know, or a switch that you could turn it off as far as being able to cough. We've got the same thing. It's called editing. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, you've Help learned me, to work. I'm shoving tissues up my nose. <laughs> Good. Good. <clears throat> Anyhow, we hope that... Uh, you all do contribute to this one, the flu to shame. Flu to shame. Yeah. And you've learned a new term today. Mm. Go online, go to the links, look at this thing, because it is very much worth viewing. Mars Argo came out of the woodwork after years. What? Mars Argo came out of the woodwork. Oh, God, why? Years and released a new song. Oh, God. So this was timely and I didn't know it? Yeah. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> That's just sad. And on that note, bad note, sour note. If you've had experiences, if you've had experiences with the paranormal, supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, again with the people who deserve the flu shame. Yeah. If you've got local bad re- artists, you have local, regional, or family myths or legends. Send us an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. And if I, if it takes me a day or two to respond to the email, I apologize. We've had a lot going on. I will get around to it. Uh, email address will be in the description box. Yes. I have damaged my leg with the bike. He did. He he had he was bleeding today. It was just dripping. I'm like, down what is leg. wrong with your leg? Oh look, you have you have an abrasion. I didn't even know. I thought I just I thought I just banged it. No, no, but it's okay. It's okay. A little bit of this. This helps having parent who knows how to do first aid and all this other stuff. Yeah. First responder. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. Thank you all. Have a good wear boots. 
<laughs> flu to shame. Flu to shame. Absolutely. Stay healthy. Drink your orange juice. Know that you the are treat, loved. Get your vitamin D. Vitamin C also. Uh-huh. Colds still exist. They do. I just got allergies. Well, it's allergies and, and colds still exist. Yes. It's not everything lumped but into you, one. I don't truly need to blow my nose. Oh, okay. I didn't know that I needed to hurry. Know that you're loved, and we'll see you on the next cup. Bye. Bye. Uh.